Now I'm not cutting, I could cut a lot more from this but I'm just cutting, well, there's quite a lot here actually now that I feel it. Okay so now I've got my lines, uh, I just want to then cut. So we've got some really cool colours, I've got this light silver that's got a little bit of green mixed into it um, when I was doing something else and it's actually a really nice metallic -y light colour. So I was thinking that would be quite a nice one. The white that looks more cream. And then silver which is very dark. First of all, now let's just see. I want to just try and get brush strokes. And also also once it goes wet, I want to see how it reacts with the wetness. Right, so that's those colours there now. Interesting. So the side it's got the the uh, texture up the way is see how that's harder to come off. But they ones just lift off easily. I'm just trying to see how it looks when they're all muddled to muddled together. Um, so what I thought would be quite cool is I've got some royal ice in here in a bag that I made up the distiller day there. And what I want to do is I want to texture the cake. Okay. See, so sort of like that. Tylo glue that I've got here. So you just want to get it quite sticky. Yeah, there's just something really nice with that. I think it needs to be a little bit more, a little more dark this to it. Now, at the bottom there, I'm not feeling it, so probably what we're best to do is just cut pieces that are just going to fit in there. Go. And then we just want to then glue the cake. So if I put that on there and measure it around to there. Okay, so just pick up your paper. Should be able to get just a blend in. There we go. Can you soak your brush, then take off the excess, and then we just want to do painting up with the fan brush. So it's just blending out. There we go. You get a sharp object and all we do is just draw around the shape until you get your shape and then cut it out. There's no other easy way to do it. Okay, unless you've got a, st a stamp punch, um, which works as well. So I did the same with them, just placed that on top, got the tool and just drew around there and then cut out the, the little flowers uh, from that as well. Okay, so that's the only way to do it, unless you've got the cutters. Okay, and all we do is pick up, oops, get a bit of tea towel. And all we do is, you can use your tool to pick it up, just pick it up. And what we want to do is fold it over and pinch just so we get like a petal, a cupped petal shape like that. Okay, and then just pick up the, the petal and see where the point is, where it's folded, that's the end of the, the circle. Okay, so when I just place it down, I can just see the, the shadow and I just press it down like that and you can see how easily it, it sticks on. And I want to cross over and go to the other side. There we go. Okay. And there we go, so one lovely big flower made there. Old cake drum there with a the hole in it, so that's getting used. Okay, so I just want to place that there. And I just pop that slap bang there in the middle. And you can use ganache, or if you're scared in case you see some of the ganache coming through, uh, you could just use some royal ice and just tick the cake down. Okay. 
Kick. Okay. There we are. Okay, so let's turn that around. You can see you just get that lovely whoosh of the metallic going up the cake, which looks really nice. Nice. So you can almost hardly see it, if you know what I mean. Just a few. Something nice about that, just bringing that wee bit of colour in there. Like so. Okay, once that's on, a little bit of the, the glue there. And then we can then just lift this up and sit it on there, like so. Through there, like so. Okay. Again, keeping it all edible. And food safe. Okay, so I want to just decide where that's going to go. About there. And at the back. And we can maybe get a green one. So we've got different colours. There we go. Cool. There we are. So, uh, so I'm going to go around and just finish these ones off, come back, finish in touches. Hi guys, welcome back. Um, so as you can see, the cake is just about finished. I've popped a ribbon on the bottom. Now I just went for a white. I was going to go for a, a, a silvery one, but I decided just to keep it all nice and clean and go for the white. Now I always, when I always put ribbon on the bottom board and white, I always do it twice. Because I think sometimes when you just do it once, it kind of gives it a grey shadow off the silver board. So what we're going to do is get some of the spray. So I've got some pearl spray. Um, and uh, we're just going to give it a little scoosh, as I like to call it, just to give it a little bit, a, a little bit of a metallic uh, to the flowers. So obviously, just, just very lightly, because obviously this is still wet, and it can still make them crinkle. So we just want to give it a mist on there, like that. Okay, so there we go, all finished. Well, that was good fun. Um, what a lovely cake and very, very contemporary.